everyone. Hi. Um, <laughs> so we just moved a few boxes to my apartment. Um, so we don't have a place yet we're moving into, but we know in the next like month or so we're going to be moving up north a bit. Um, our plan is to, I have most of my apartment packed up. So our plan is to, as we get things packed up at Max's apartment, we're gonna move a few boxes here and there over to my apartment for storage. So when her parents come and help us move, it's easier to take things from here instead of my apartment. Yes, so we're going, because especially since it, he has an, the elevator that's closest to his apartment is not trustworthy. They finally got it working for the first time in like, what, a month? Something like that. And, um, so it'll be easier for us if we can just take things over here and there to my apartment and then once it's time to move everything into a moving truck then we just take my, cause my especially since my apartment's on the first floor we can just do straight up from my apartment to the moving truck and I have to deal with the whole elevator and up and down and all of that fun stuff. Um, but yeah you actually just got to see my apart, uh, part of my apartment for the first time. Uh, I have, well. I'm supposed to have three roommates. One moved out last month. Cause she's enlisted. In yeah, the she, yeah, she enlisted in the military and is getting shipped out soon, so she moved out. Um, one basically lives with their boyfriend. We think one of them, the one that's caused the most problems, we think she lives with her boyfriend now. And even though she still has stuff at the apartment, she's never there. And then the one that's there all the time says that she sees me more than the other one, and I'm never even there to begin with. So. Um, I wasn't going to show the whole apartment, but you at least saw my bedroom. Because that's a little more respectful. Yeah, so that's a little more respectful just to show my bedroom because that's, you know, my space that I've paid for that, you know, only my things in it, well, is now too. But, um, now we're just heading up to Kyle to go grocery shopping. We, even though we have an ATB right by his apartment, we prefer the ATB up in Kyle. Because it's ATB plus and they have because yeah, it's an ATB plus. They have more. They have more deals. The, uh, they have more deals. Yeah. Uh, I also feel like it's a little more organized. Yeah. The ATB by his apartment is so unorganized. Like you have all the hygiene stuff. Like you, you got shampoos and conditioners on one aisle. Then the next aisle you've got all the deodorants, toothpaste, shaving stuff, and then we couldn't find body wash. It happened to be over like three aisles past the baby stuff, over with the toilet paper and paper towels. And all of the paper products. Yeah, um, it, it made no sense. <laughs> but this one was a lot easier to learn. Everything's a little more. Everything is where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I start my new job tomorrow, so I've got to wash some clothes today. Uh, got to pack got to pack more. We're planning on taking clothes that we don't wear, like our winter clothes, and packing them up and just taking them to my apartment. Help clean up the space a bit. <laughs> Russet now can get to his bed again. I think he's happy about that. Yeah. I love that he little guy. Have, he didn't have that, so he was... No. So sad. Yeah. Wake up. I'm at 27 points. Um, so my new job, <clears throat> so technically their office isn't built in which is about, I want to say, an hour, hour and a half away from here. Yeah. But it's under construction, so they have a temporary office in Round Rock, which is only 45 minutes to an hour from here. Uh, so that's not as bad of a drive. I've got a little bit of time to work on moving up towards, like, the Bolton Waco area. But um, the thing is, we have times in the office, but then we also spend a lot of times out at specific stores doing stuff. And I'm going to talk to my boss tomorrow about like, hey, at first can we assign me to something that was, that's not as far up north and I can not have to drive like two hours to get home from work. Yeah. So hopefully he'll, he'll be nice enough to do that for me and make sure I can, I don't have to drive her too far. I'm nervous to start just because, you know, it's a new job, it's something I've never done before. Well, you need to talk to HR and they were Okay yeah. With this. So if you tell like, hey, yeah. HR was like, yeah, just do that. Tell your boss. And yeah. I think they'll be more understanding. Yeah. Well, I mean, I also talked to him about the fact that I have appointments up in Fort Worth in a week, and so I've got to be up there for a week and not and have to take off work, which I feel bad about. But he should be understanding that, hey, I, these are things I can't really reschedule. I've got to go up as well as pack my Fort Worth stuff for moving. Are you sure? Did they already give you PTO? 
<laughs> I'd be happy if it was, but I don't think PTO is one of the benefits right now. Yeah. It's an entry level. As I work my way up in a few months, I should get PTO. Yeah. I'm just saying that because yeah. I'm <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm still applying. He's still finding a job, which is okay. I'm not crushing her, him to get a job fast. Yeah. My job should be sufficient enough for us to get... At least started. At least started. At least get us a place together to live in and for us to at least have food, take care of the rest of it and whatnot. Because yeah. um, you get paid weekly. So I'll get paid weekly, which is nice. Yeah, and my job pays anywhere from fifty to 80000 a year. So it should be a decent start. Uh, it's definitely not something I want to solely rely on. So, yeah. Um, like, I'm starting to get a little more lax on the money that's in my bank account that's been more specifically for my rent. I Because I do have this job, I'm like, okay, we can spend a little bit of this to go get groceries. We can kind of get stuff we need to kind of start moving and whatnot. But I'm like, okay, we're not going to go overboard on spending Today's my last day before starting work, so we're going to spend as much time together as we can. I don't think either of us are looking forward to being apart. No. It's weird because we're not used to it. No. Last time we were like apart was like when we were long distance. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, when we first met, we were long distance for the first month and a half. Yeah, I moved down here first. Yeah, and then I moved down like a few weeks later. Was it? That was like a month. Uh, no, you moved at the beginning of August. I moved like halfway through August. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I moved down uh, August 1st. Yeah. So, we, you know, we had that time of long distance that helped us learn how to communicate more with each other. But now that we're not long distance, we're like, we're never doing that again. We want to be as close to each other as we can. Don't want to spend too much time apart from each other, so. So, here's the thing. We're not too dependent on each other, by the way. We're very individualistic, so. Oh, yeah. It's just we prefer each other's company. Yeah. It's kind of, it's more of a healthy way to, uh, we just like to be around each other, like having each other's company. I feel like we're stronger together. Like, we work strong independently, but together we're like a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting being apart from each other for a few hours every day, but... We'll manage. We'll, we'll learn. We'll get adjusted. He's going to do some vlogging with Russet. Let me see them throughout the day. We'll get to see me more. Yeah. That's going to be exciting. I'll edit vlogs when I can. We're going to try to get like one to two out a week to start with and then go from there. I've got to get adjusted to a job first. Um, in a couple weeks, we should have a wedding related video up again. Because um, I get to go shopping with my and spades. I'm excited. Yeah, right now we're all gonna head to lunch first and then go grocery shopping. Cause I need to get stuff for lunches. But we'll catch you later. taking forever and I'm physically exhausted from it like I worked on it yesterday got like one module done and then I took a nap <laughs> they're that exhausting um I applied to a place and I got a response back so I called them today because they told me to of course um and I told them the situation um they forgot that I was in San Marcos, so they were kind of like, well, then that kind of pushes back a little bit. But the lady I talked to, who's the manager, it, I think, slash HR, I don't know, she's going to see what they can do to keep me on board because she was really impressed by me. Um, so next week from today, I have another phone call with her to see if I there's still a spot available after because they have a training coming up and they would be pushing it to have him yeah. interview so close to it. Yeah, and they need me up there like kind of like 
ASAP. ASAP. So it's kind of one of those things. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna definitely keep up with me. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I think I think I'll probably get the job. It's like it's basically you know talking to people about their medical bills, like from like the insurance side of it. So I'll have like my own cubicle and stuff, so that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not 100% sure, but it sounds like she's, the lady was really impressed by me, so. Sounds like me with my job. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I didn't have like the technical skill and training that they were hoping, but she was, because of how impressed she was with my resume and stuff, that she was just like, hey, we can train you, we can just get you to go ahead and uh, make it easier. So, because they were owning an interview like tomorrow, and I was like, oh, I'm in San Marcos. She was like, oh, you're not here in the area? I was like, no. <laughs> I mean, I did tell him we could try to work it out with my work schedule yeah. since I had to kind of drive think, up towards there tomorrow anyways. And but. when I, I tried to tell her that, but she was like, we'll just wait till next week, you know, to call and do that. And I was like, okay, fine. But I think, I don't know, from the sounds of it, it doesn't seem like they'll have a lot of people there for the training, which is coming up like in two weeks. So I think I'll still have a secure spot either way. So. So that's kind of an update on all of that. I actually, he actually hasn't even had a chance to vlog this week because for me, Monday, I was off work by like 10.30. And I was back by before noon. I actually woke him up calling him. I'm like, hey, I am really, like, I called him multiple times, left a couple voicemails, and I'm like, hey, I'm really close. I need you to wake up so I don't, sitting in the garage waiting. He woke up to all those calls and voicemails from me. He's like, oh, I gotta get up. <laughs> um, so he had never even had a chance to do any vlogging one day. Tuesday and I, yesterday. I was tired. Yeah. I stayed up late. Tuesday and yesterday, he, I was actually off, well, off. Basically, I just had a couple like Zoom meetings that I was clocked in for, but um, tomorrow I actually have to drive in. Uh, well, he said us actually going out to the stores will be dependent on how well we're, how much we've done with our scripts and our, our trainings. And those trainings are taking me forever, so I might not be able to go out to the stores yet. I feel like you probably have a head start more than that. Uh, other two. Yeah, like, I've been trying to work on the script, but, like, I'm also having to get all those trainings done, and I don't think there's any way I can get both done before tomorrow. Um, I don't know, you probably still go out. I mean, I can at least shadow him for a couple hours, which at least gives some yeah. pay, but... Uh, we actually just went to Best Buy. Why? Because, uh, we had to get a new Xbox controller. Uh, because the one that we had that she uses, the USB... Uh, the part that plugs into the controller for the cord broke. Broke. Uh, we don't know how. No, last time I used it, it was perfectly fine, and it was sitting on the chair. I have not sat there since then. Uh, it's been a few days since we've played, and I go back to play. And I'm like, wait, where's the cord? Because I picked up the controller, and um, I finally found the cord, and like the whole part of it was like bent over, and then you couldn't get it plugged in. I'm like, kind of like a tiny degree. Yeah, but we have a game that we've been playing together on the Xbox, and it's really helped with bonding for us and having quality time together so we're like okay we really need to get a new controller also annoying each other yeah i mean actually we were originally going to get just a new cord to since we already had the controller but we couldn't find the proper cord we needed since they don't do that specific type of usb anymore it's all USB C. so we ended up finding an inexpensively priced controller both of our favorite colors so yeah it's it's going to be perfect for me Oh, thank you, truck for not going. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for me, with my job, until I can actually get up closer, I'm probably going to have to just be part-time because I'll end up having to drive, like, two hours one way. And if I'm getting off, if I'm doing the full-time, I won't get off till like, 8 p.m. I do not want to have to get home at, like, 11. Yeah. So. <sighs> and then, thankfully, with my job, if I get it, I have to be working from it. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. So that's not bad. No. I'll just have to wake up at like 5 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. But like once we're, I, I have been talking to my boss about it and he's understanding about my situation and now he knows we're working on moving up there. 
So he's like, okay, well, in the meantime, we'll have you be part-time. Once you get up here, we'll get you full-time. So I told him, like, I want to start part I want to be full-time, but right now with the drive, it needs to be part-time until I can get up there. So he's been really lenient about that. He knows I have to go up to Fort Worth next week to, like, pack as well as appointments and whatnot. So at least he sees that you have a lot of drive in you that you're willing, that you're wanting to do this. And yes. Not just pull it off. And I'm going to work my butt off, and we will be getting lots of money on this. Yeah. I will work my butt off. Like, I don't even care. If I don't, after a few months, if I'm not making money, then I will apply for a teaching job. Yeah. But that doesn't pay well either, so. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to see how this goes. I'm in a bit of a situation because I did my undergraduate. My degree is a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, but I got a teaching certification, which giving, which, I mean, technically speaking, I have that math degree, and it should be easier to find a job, but I'm just struggling to find a job to use that degree with that will pay decently. So that's when I was like, okay, maybe I can go into sales for a while, start making some big bucks, whatever. Um, teaching jobs really do not pay much. I mean, I think they do pay a little more in Texas than in a lot of other states, but it's still crappy pay. I would not be able to pay my student debt that I have from getting my degree. So we're, we're working on details and whatnot. So. But then we once we get these jobs settled, then we've got to start really booking things for our wedding to get it done. Because our wedding's six months yeah. from today. So we're like, okay, we got to get going. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, I already have my dress, and I have bridesmaids appointments this next weekend. Not this weekend, but the following weekend. So that's helpful. Ooh, let's try this again. She's been backing in a lot lately. Uh, okay, so I was never taught how to back in. My, I, I think it's safe to say my dad doesn't really know how to do that either. You're good. I'm not gonna hit the car. No. Um. You have enough space, yeah. Okay. Uh, so my, yeah, my family doesn't do the backing in. They don't know how to do the backing in without the backup camera. I don't have a backup camera, so I'm very crooked. Yeah. I, I will. At least you're pretty much on the part. Yeah. I just need to pull up, straighten out, and back up. Uh, although I, I would, I think it's safe to say I've been doing pretty well learning on my own. Well, I did teach you a bit. Yeah. I showed her off by doing it my first try in this car. Yeah. Is it from Uh, oh, we're a little close. Okay. Okay, today's been a little bit harder than normal, but that's because I usually don't do it with cars near, and then we've got a car on the right side. It also just helped that the person on the side, on my side, usually is a bad parker. Oh yeah, they're horrendous. Yeah. It's not as perfectly as it has been, but it's... It's hard to do that when you have other people. It's, I've been doing pretty well, but this is not as perfect as it usually is. But it's I'm still in. I'm not... That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, we'll catch you later.